Kids. Welcome to One and All Kids, and welcome back to another week in our Go Team series. Last week, we learned that Jesus wants everyone to follow him. And this week, we're learning that Jesus washed the disciples' dirty feet. Let's hear all about it. It's worship time. This is the time to sing and dance to our praise songs to Jesus. When we worship, we can dance and do the motions, but we can also raise our hands towards Jesus to tell him that he deserves all the worship in the world. Let's sing our first song together, and if you feel like raising your hands way up, go for it. Awesome. When we sing and dance and raise our hands up, we are showing Jesus that we love Him. But we are also showing others that Jesus is amazing. When we lift our hands up to praise Jesus, we are setting a good example of what it means to praise Jesus without feeling scared or embarrassed about worship. Let's keep on praising Him with our next song. His love will never quit.
Our new song Hosanna together one more time. Let's do it. Remember, repeat after me. Ho 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 Hosanna. Ha ha hallelujah. He 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 loves me. I've got the love of the Lord. All right, we're gonna do it super lightning round fast. Are you ready? All right. Ho 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 Hosanna. Ha ha hallelujah. He 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 loves me. I've got the love of the Lord. Wow, that was so fast. Great job, friends. I'll see you next time. I love hearing all of you sing with such great voices as we worship God together. We get to sing some more later, but now we have a super fun story for you from Ollie. Grab your Bibles, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us as we call out Ollie in three, two, one. Ollie! Oh, hi friends. It's so good to see you today. I'm Justin the Mailman and I love delivering the mail. I've got happy birthday cards, get well soon cards, a picture someone drew for their grandma. So many people thinking of others and being a good friend, which reminds me of today's story. Do you wanna hear it? Okay, great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friends, the disciples. The disciples were about to have a special dinner with Jesus. Wait a minute. Look at their feet. Their feet are super dirty. The disciples' feet are dirty because back then they didn't have cars. They didn't have buses. If people wanted to go somewhere, they had to walk and the roads were very dusty and dirty. So, as you can see, after walking on dusty roads, the disciples' feet were very dirty. That's why they had to wash their feet before they ate dinner. But guess what happened? Someone wanted to wash their feet for them. Can you guess who it was? Jesus! Jesus wanted to wash his friend's feet. Now, why would Jesus, God's son, who is so super special, want to wash his friend's dirty feet? Jesus' his friend Peter said, no, Jesus, don't wash my feet. He knew Jesus was so special and didn't think Jesus should be doing a job like washing feet. But Jesus explained that if Peter was going to follow him, he would have to let Jesus wash his feet. So then Peter really wanted Jesus to wash his feet. Jesus loved his friends and put them first. Jesus showed them how they could love others and be a friend like Jesus. Do you think Jesus is a good friend? Yes, Jesus is such a good friend. And Jesus wanted to show us how to be a good friend too. So he washed the disciples' feet. Everyone say, wow, wow. Yes, Jesus is such a good friend and we can be good friends too. We can share our toys. We can let someone else go first on the slide. We can give someone else the biggest cookie. We can help clean up even if we didn't make the mess. Every time we think of others and when we put them first, we are being a good friend like Jesus. And Jesus is the best. 
I'm so glad Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. Go team! Who wants to be your friend forever? <gasps> Jesus wants to be my friend forever! That's right, great job, Otis, and great job, friends. Now, let's see how well we can remember the story that we just heard. Yeah, yeah, okay, friends, we have some questions, and if you know the answers, yell them out as loud as you can! In our story today, the disciples were going to have a special dinner with Jesus, but there was a problem. Were they all wearing silly costumes? Or were their feet all dirty? Hmm. That's right, their feet were really dirty. We can't have that, that's gross! Yuck! Yuck! Yucky! <laughs> Sorry, I just got gross thinking about gross feet. Anyway, so Jesus, he decided to do something about that. Did Jesus go to jump in the backyard pool? Or did he get a bowl of water and start washing their feet? Hmm. Jesus started washing their feet. But someone said no, because Jesus was special and shouldn't be doing a job like washing feet. Was it Peter who said no? Or was it Pastor Josh? I still can't believe that was even an option. <gasps> I don't think it was Pastor Josh. Josh was at dinner. He's like super old. <laughs> yeah, like thousands of years old. <gasps> that means it was Peter. Jesus told Peter that he was showing them how to put others first. Oh, great job answering all our questions. Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. I love that Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Everywhere, all the time. One way that I remember this is by saying our memory verse. It comes from John 15, 15, and it says this. I have called you friends. John 15, 15. Ooh, I love that so much. It's a really good verse. Do you like it? I love it. Yay! I think our friends do too. And that reminds me, I like to say it in a fun way. So maybe this time, could we say it again, but really quietly, like in a whisper? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Here we go. Everyone whisper our verse with us really, really quietly. I'm so excited. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I have called you friends. John 15, 15. <laughs> that was so crazy. You guys are so good at whispering. All the babies were still sleeping because you were so quiet. Good job. Now it's time for our big pause. This is the time where we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he does in our lives. Pause the video to take some time to think about this question. How do you help your friends? Answer this question with your friends around you when we pause. Okay, here comes our big pause in three, two, one. Big, big pause. pause. <laughs> wow, great job everyone. Now we're gonna close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Yeah, yeah, prayer is just talking to God. We can talk to him about the big things and the little things that happen all around us. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to show us how to be a good friend. Help us to think of others and put them first this week so we can be a good friend just like Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen! Bye, friends! See you next time! 
Hey everyone, now is our time for offering. Giving our offering shows others that we love Jesus. Sometimes we want to keep what we have to ourselves, but Jesus tells us to share with others. When we give our offering back to Him, we are showing other people that we love Jesus more than we love our stuff and our money. By doing this, we get the chance to show others with our actions that Jesus is the very best and we love Him very much. Talk to your parents about what it means to give your offering today. Now it's time for our last worship song. Stand up to your feet and worship with us. to come with you too. Inviting friends to learn about Jesus is fun. It helps us share about Jesus' love with everyone. This week, ask your parents to help you invite a friend to watch church with you. Until then, I want to send you out with one hope, one life in Christ. Bye everyone!